Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is The Lady, and as you can see right now, I'm a bit of a damsel in distress because instead of throwing my hook into the water, it ended up in a bunch of reeds and they now took all of my, uh, my gear. So this is something that's uh, going to happen if you're level 2 or if you're at level 20, it doesn't matter. You will get snacks and you will have to try and uh, free yourself out of it. Now what I see a lot of new players do is they try to force break their way and what they most of the time do will be something like this or they try to reel in very hard and very fast and jerk the rod all over the place but what will happen eventually is that in the end you will break your line and well even though that's not that expensive to, uh, to replace a line and a hook it's better of course to keep your gear intact because if you don't have a, a balanced setup like here what I mean with balanced setup is, uh, is the following uh, balanced setup means that your line is the weakest link of your entire gear so you got a line you have your rod and you have the reel now if your line is the weakest link it will uh, show because your tension is uh, the highest on the line it means that if something like this happens, your line is the first that will break. But if your rod or your reel, if either one of those two is the highest compared to the line, it means that if you try to force break your way out of this situation, you will end up with either a broken rod or a broken reel. And to replace those two, that's going to cost you quite a lot of bucks. So I suggest not to do that. Um, here's uh, something uh, that I've learned from uh, from other uh, players and that has helped me uh, untangle most of my snacks. It's not a foolproof guarantee. Get rid of snacks and to keep your gear uh, all in one piece. But it is something that has helped me a lot and uh, in retrieving my gear. Uh, so here it goes. If you press the F1 button, you'll see your HUD that appears. And these are the two keys that we're going to need the plus button and the minus button because these two they uh, adjust our drag setting so to show you here we have this pie chart sort of and right now two out of the six are highlighted which means that right now my drag is set on two what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to lift up my rod a little you do so by pressing uh, and holding the right mouse button You'll hear a few uh, ticking sounds, don't worry about that. And we're going to try and see if this drag setting is uh, going to release our uh, our tackle. Um, so we have uh, the right mouse button pressed, and now we tap the left mouse button once, like so. But nothing happens, it won't release the hook. So what we're going to do now is press the plus button. Now we've added one more drag to our reel, and we tap the left mouse button once more. Still, it won't give way of our tackle, so we add another drag. Here it goes. Nope, still no luck. I'm going to lower the rod just a little. Then we press left mouse button once more. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. Our tackle is released after the snack. And we can go on fishing happily ever after. So, that's how you deal with snacks. As said, it's, uh, it's not a foolproof, but it uh, releases most of your snacks, especially the ones that are caught up in reeds or in lily pads. There are sometimes uh, you can uh, get caught after uh, behind a, a dead tree. You can see one right here. You can see it. And there's two more dead trees uh, behind it. Also, in the middle of some uh, lakes or rivers, there can be rocks at the bottom. And especially when you're lure fishing, uh, your uh, hook can get uh, uh, catch uh, can get catched behind uh, one of those. And uh, even if you try your hardest, if it won't release your uh, your line, best thing you can do then, uh, especially when you see that the tension on your rod and or on your reel is higher than the one on your line, is that you press the B button. So you can see here, here's the B button. And what it does, it breaks your line manually. So, with that in mind, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. And I hope you learned from it. I wish you a good day and tight lines. Bye bye.